Horst, you are just about to start your lecture. What will be the subject? Yes, we have in Germany this year the subject Magic Feet. And uh, I will try to show the major points which I think are very important if we speak about Uh, feet and dancing and I'm very glad that I have Nina and Timo today as a couple fourth of the world ranking list who will support me who will help me with my lecture hey, thank you so we are very excited to follow your lecture thank you very much Horst thank you very much. Uh, we have in Germany every year one major subject where we when we have our Carter trainings when we have uh, the judges congresses where we speak about is a certain subject and this year we have in Germany this subject magic feet and uh, the idea behind this subject is that we want to in Germany that we want to take more intention attention into the feet because um, also my colleague Martina Vesseterhorn Bundes trainer standard like myself, we think that it's very important to have a very good uh, understanding about how to use the feet. Not only how to put, stand on your feet, also to how to use your feet. And uh, I have 11 points I want to speak about now in the next 30 minutes. So hopefully I will also can do it in, in 30 minutes. It's balance on the foot, pressure to the floor through your feet, footwork, foot positions, transfer from foot to foot, foot leading, I will explain all this later, foot and leg lines, foot timing, foot speed, aesthetic expression of feet, and musicality through feet. And all these subjects I now told you, these, all these subjects have something to do with your feet. So I believe if you have a big knowledge, great knowledge about your feet, you can really become a great dancer. If you are not aware about your feet, you will always have problems. I know we see a lot of couples who have great top lines in standard and Latin. They work in Latin, they throw away their arms, they are working in the upper part of the body, but they have no understanding how to stand on one foot, how to get a perfect balance. And I'm very proud that I have today a very a, a young couple, a very young couple, very successful couple also. They are fourth in the WDSF world ranking list who will help me today in my lecture and please give a very nice and strong and powerful applause to Nina and Timor. And uh, they will present just maybe one minute of your rumba please for us.
allá de tus labios del sol en las estrellas oh, contigo en la distancia amado mío esto and you have a control about your body and you can use your feet, you can use your body and you have the ability also to create an atmosphere through this very difficult music because it's a very slow music and uh, very special with a lot of emotions. Therefore you need a, a great use of your feet and then a performance can become not only a sportive and correct performance no, it can become a very emotional performance and this is where I think the dancing becomes magic. And I think these both dance a great rumba and again a very big applause for Nina and Timo for this beautiful, beautiful rumba. And it looks so easy, it looks so easy, it looks so natural and this is actually what every dancer is looking for, every teacher is looking for, a natural look. But to create this natural look, we need a great technique behind this. We need a, no a lot of knowledge behind that. And when we just have my first point, balance. Can you all stand please up? Just stand up. And stand on both feet. It's very easy. Okay. Now go to your right foot, please, and feel that your body weight is completely over the right foot. Lift the left foot, please. Okay, and now, can you just go with your body weight over the heel? This is what we know, it's too far back. Okay, now center of the foot. Now we have between center of foot and ball of the foot. Slightly light forward. Or we go even more to the toes, okay. So we have a lot of play, we have a lot of uh, possibilities on our foot to stand. And when you see, okay, relax, but don't sit down, don't sit down. Uh, but if you see now Nina and Timur, they are always in this perfect balance on the foot. And then they can breathe, they can relax, and then they can go into the music. If I'm too much back, go onto the heel of your foot, please. You feel immediately that the body becomes much harder. Okay, if it's too much forward, you, you fix your body and you cannot breathe. So it's so important to have a feeling of perfect balance on the foot. Now I see sometimes girls, especially girls, who are always falling in the outside of the foot. So. We need this feeling that the foot, we are still in the center of the foot in the length, but then slightly inside, never outside. You will never see Nina in a turn where she suddenly goes in such a position. She will stand always to the inside of the foot and then she brings her legs together. And again, this has to do with the balance on one foot. You see beautiful lines from her and she is always in a very quiet position in her foot. It's never that you see this. Okay, please sit down, thank you. And can I just have Nina and Timo for a short part of your routine where we can see perfect balance, that we can see this stability in the feet and the awareness where the balance is on the foot. Okay, and continue, stop. And you see her left foot. Okay, take down the right foot, very nice. But you can see a lot of tension in the left foot. Okay, can you just fall a little bit in the outside, please? Yes, or that you are shaking the foot, something like this. Okay, so be careful, thank you. This, for example, is of course not good and you see immediately she is not able to stand on her foot 
has the balance on the foot so she starts or she is going in the position where she is sometimes maybe also heavy for her partner and I know Nina never wants to be heavy only in out of balance positions okay show me one more time please the same part Timo and okay stop okay Nina you can go away please and Timur, you see a very nice check position. You see clear foot position. I can see also here how he use balance. In this case, is between both feet, but it's very, very clear. And you can see how the pressure is going through the feet into the floor before he continues. And if he do, is, for example, a check forward walk, then you see that the body movement is moving forward, but he never lose control in this right foot. Okay, check forward walk, please, one more time. He never you, uh, lose the control here, so we can see that the balance, that the point is clear where he moves and then over the foot, and then he continues into the next part of his movement. Thank you very much. So I think this should be clear, how do I, we stand on the foot, always in clear balance, where on my foot is the perfect balance and of course not in every step we have the same point, sometimes maybe a little bit more to the heel, sometimes a little bit more to, to the toes, but this is very important that we have an awareness about where are we standing on our feet. So second part. Latin dance for me has always to do with pressure to the floor. So I have always the settling down action. I always want to see if I see a movement forward, sideward, backward, that we have a preparation where I use my body weight through the foot into the floor. It's not that I'm standing here and I'm just doing on this level my dancing. I always want that I use my body weight and the body weight is going through the foot into the floor. I feel the wood. I feel the floor. I feel how soft the wood is. And from here I go into my next movement. And I'm never on top of the floor and just move on this part. I sometimes see actions with carpet who are for me too high. They have not this connection to the floor to move. And this means for me I have a special depth in my dancing. And this is what I always want to see. So I want to see body side, balance on the side, pressure to the floor, and from here a moving action. Okay. Timo, can you just do a little part, some steps of your routine again and show quite grounded your dancing? Whatever you like. Okay, thank you very much. Very nice. So, can you just do it now without feeling the floor? Just higher. Okay, thank you very much. Don't continue, don't continue, because you have it on tape. <laughs> okay, uh, this was bad. This was bad because there was no connection to the floor and he was always on a very high level and I think both Nina and Timur are a great couple because they are dancing really, they show woman-man dancing. And you can see very strongly the strong man, the lady, very elegant, and if he dances too high, he loses 
a lot of his masculine look. Can you just do it again? Very drop because you look so much more masculine, stronger in your whole body when you use your body weight and the connection to the floor. Stop! You can see he had a body lift. Now from here he went with his body weight into the floor and prepared for the next step and and again boom and again and I can see the connection to the floor and this very clear position thank you very much together with Nina please Pressure to the floor. Very nice. Thank you very much. Please show this with music. We're strangers in the night. This is very clear. Now, or should be clear, should be clear. Now I want to go more into a next subject, transfer from foot to foot. And this is again, also with slow music for me, very important how the, the feet are working. And uh, if we are standing on one foot, we have the preparation, then we start with our spine, we move forward, and here we have always a position where we stand between both feet. And now for me, the most important thing is how the foot, which is in the back, is still working, that I can see still this work, how I create a beautiful foot and leg line, then I have the hip design, and then how I lead the foot under my body before I do the next step, and again, that I can see a lot of control in the back foot. Boom. Tick, 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 boom. And not this, empty feet. So I know that Nina and Timo are both great in this, but I like now only Nina to present some rumba walks. In my time when I was dancing, we had to do like, I would say 40% of our practice also 40 percent of our practice with teachers our lessons we worked on rumba walks and sometimes as a couple i thought come on i dance my performance i don't want to practice only rumba walks but now today i know 
how important is this that my feet are working in the correct way, that my spine is working in the correct way, so that I can control the movement from one foot to the other to dance at the end great in the music. Because otherwise I'm too early and then maybe the leg is coming to also here too early. Or in the other case, um, I am dying because I have to wait until I can do the next step. And if I see great dancers, they are in a continuous manner, they are co continuously dancing and never stop their movement. So and this I want to see now from Nina. Rumba walks just diagonal. Okay, that looks nice. One, two, three, four. And now, okay, very slowly, just four, Nina. And four. And now, and one, and. And you can see, okay, stop, stop. You can see how she develops, how she shows her beautiful ankle. And uh, that you see a beautiful foot line. Now she closes the foot. Very elegant connection point. And two and a three and a four and one and a. And again. Two and a, three and a, four and one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a, one and a. And you can see now she is continuously working in her back foot. And it's not, can you just do it without this control? And two, three, four and one, two and three and four and one. And she has to wait. It still looks good because everything looks good on Nina. You agree? Come on. Little applause. But when we speak about energy, when we speak about how to create a body, you need this tension and you have to work in this foot, back into this foot. One more time. One, two, three. Four and one and two and a three and a four and one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four and a one and a two and a three and a four. Very beautiful and you can see a lot of control. Thank you very much, Nina. Okay. Can you now go again back into your routine, the beginning of the routine which you showed us? Because also there, now in the, in the choreography, she has to use this from her feet. She cannot go just straight onto the feet. She has to control this transfer from one foot to the other. This part you did, where you did? Uh, this part which we did. Mm -hmm. No, not the beginning of the routine, sorry, sorry. Uh, of this step you choose. To the, the part where uh, you started also without her. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, and two, three, four, stop. Okay, one more time, okay, one more time, one more time. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and there was a part. This, this part I wanted to see was this overturned basic. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and continue. Four, one, two, three, four, stop. And now she, from here, she goes onto the back foot and she moves into the, stop, slowly, slowly, slowly. Nina, you're too fast. And, boom. And then from here, again, feet and feet. I know I'm a little bit difficult sometimes, sorry about this. But you are great dancers, you can do it, come on. One more time, one more time. <laughs> now I, I, at the end, it looks so natural and they are doing it, of course, in their normal speed and it's no problem for them in the correct tempo. But there is so much work inside their body. 
Maybe you can't believe this, but it's, it's, they have so much control. They are so much working inside in so many different directions to control it and to, to fill the music, fill the hall with their movement. Yes, 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 yes. yes. And uh, this I want to make clear for you here in the hall. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Four, one, and two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, and three. Four, one. And continue. Okay, thank you very much. One time without. Can you do it without? So, now again, for the camera also, without control. One time without control. It still will look good, but it will look a little bit more empty. And I hope you, can, you will see it. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one, two, three. Four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, thank you very much. No applause because, okay, it was still good. Come on, it was still good, yes. But I hope you can see the difference. You can see that there's something different. And I believe. Everything starts with the feet. Everything starts with use of feet, how I move from one foot to the other, that I have this control, that I work in my complete body. And it's not only I make a position, I work in my feet. I work in my feet. Show it one more time, correct. And take your own timing, I will not count. Timor, you are the boss. Russian bus boss. Everything is in control. Thank you so much. So, it's nearly over. I just like now to, or I, I want them to dance one more time, little part of your rumba, just to give an idea how beautiful feet can be, how beautiful dancing can be with a lot of control in the feet. And uh, later in the group training, I have also a little routine with 16 bars of rumba with semi-basics. And uh, I will explain, and maybe you can try this then as well. So maybe I see you later in my group training. Now, just for dreaming again, one last rumba with Nina and Timor here at this lecture. And just enjoy. It takes a lot to know a man It takes a lot to understand The warrior, the sage The little boy enraged It takes a lot to know a woman To understand what's humming The honey be the sting The little girl with wings It takes a lot to give To ask for help To be yourself To know Oh, what do you live with? 